Are you curious how you can engage all students in your class? Every teacher will acknowledge that it can be a tough task to get students motivated and perhaps even more difficult to keep them motivated throughout the course. Motivating your students is very important because it is associated with better learning outcomes. With the ARCS model created by John Keller, you can design your course and teaching sessions in such a way that you can get and keep the motivation of your students. The model consists of four elements that together enhance students' motivation. Attention, relevance, confidence, and satisfaction. Let's go through each of the letters one by one. The first letter A is about attention. You stimulate student motivation by starting with a good attention grabber. Nonverbal behavior can really work to grab the attention of your students, for example, by having eye contact and variating your stance. Additionally, you could think of an appealing question that needs to be answered, showing them a quote that can be true or false, or a stimulating image or video. If it fits your teaching style, using humor is also a good attention grabber. It can be quite a challenge to keep the student's attention. For this aspect, you can say that variation is key. Try to variate your teaching and learning activities at least every 20 minutes. A mixture of, for example, short presentations, interesting learning activities in which students can process or apply what they've learned, videos, and more. The second element of the ARCS model is relevance. During your instruction, make sure to address questions like, why are we learning this? Why is it important to know about this topic for our future professional life? Or do we need the information of this course somewhere in our study program? You might have also noticed that answering to this question can also be a good attention grabber. Other approaches to show the relevance to your students could be to share your own experiences and interest in the topic. Or how does the topic relate to the news or situations from daily life? Try to relate to the students' prior knowledge. This will help them to relate the new information to things they are already familiar with. Let's continue with the third aspect, building confidence. This aspect of the ARCS model focuses on establishing positive expectations. It is important to set clear expectations at the beginning of the course and during your lessons. If your students feel that by achieving small steps, they can reach the bigger goal, every time they will experience a success moment, it is highly motivated in their learning process. In order to let them experience a success moment, you could provide them with feedback on where they stand in the progress of achieving the course objectives. The last element of the ARCS model is satisfaction, where learners must obtain some kind of satisfaction or reward from a learning experience. Feedback and reinforcements are important elements in reaching satisfaction. This can be reached by intrinsic or extrinsic rewards. An example of an extrinsic reward could be to earn a certificate or a praise from the teacher. An example of an intrinsic reward could be that a student is interested in the subject or that he or she can apply the knowledge they just learned in a new case. In other words, that a student sees that his or her effort in learning new things pays off in a new context. Now you are ready to wake up your students with the ARCS model of motivational design. Ready, set, go!